Okay, so to order additional materials, you're going to go to uh, Pearson Access. So you can type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash testnetmen.act.org. When we get to your page, make sure up here it says Work Keys Fall 2018 and your school should show up. So we'll go ahead and just uh, uh, use Broadmoor High School. All right, then the next thing you want to do, so you're at this home page, you want to go to Setup. So go to Setup. Then you want to go to Orders and Shipment Tracking. Orders and Shipment Tracking. So click on that. Then this is going to show up. And then you'll see one of your orders is, is, in, is in transit. So that was the original order you placed that's supposed to be coming around September 10th. All right, but if you want to place an additional order, you're going to go to Start. So click on Start, the drop-down menu. When you click on the drop-down menu, you want to click on Orders. So click on Orders, and then you're going to see this. So it's called the Task for Orders Create Edit Page. So you're going to see your name. You're going to put the date. I would just go ahead and put, let's say, the next day or the day after, um, just so they can send it as quickly as possible. Now, here's important. Where it says ship to, you got to make sure it says ship to and then Cynthia Sampe. Do not use your school address. It must be shipped to the district office. So it's got to be shipped to accountability. So again, make sure this says Cynthia Sampe. If it's shipped to your school, um, it's in violation of the um, policy. So it's got to be sent to Cynthia Sampe. All right, so then you scroll down. You scroll down and you're going to see where it says material order. Uh, add items so click on add items when you click on add items you're going to see 17 items that you can order now this is important if you order let's say I'm, I'm going to go ahead and change it back to zero but if you order uh, work keys audio DVD kit the kit comes only with the DVD and the test booklet it comes only with the DVD and the test booklet so you will have to order an answer document so it's very important you understand that. Whenever you order the kits, it comes with the test booklet, but it does not come with the answer document. So if you order a, um, where's the Spanish version? Let's see, Spanish version. If you order, scroll all the way down. So if you order the um, work, the audio DVD kit Spanish, and let's say you order one, then you have to order the answer document for Spanish, okay? So make sure you're aware of the fact that the DVD kits or the reader scripts, you have to order the kits. You have to order the answer document that goes with it. So rather, it's a Spanish answer document, which most of you did not do, but only a few schools did, and then the regular answer document. Okay? So you just order whatever you need. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and put this back to zero. I'm going to go ahead and put this back to zero. And then I just want to show you. I'm going to go ahead and order, let's say, an extra... I'm going to order some uh, non-secure materials. I'm not ordering secure materials here. Not just, just for our little purposes, I'm just going to order non-secure. So let's say you did all your orders and you're done. So you can go ahead and save. You're going to save that order. And when you save the order, you scroll to the bottom. It shows what you ordered. Oops, i got to take this audio DVD kit. So I'm going to go see right here I made a mistake. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to edit. I'm going to take this off. All right, so I'm going to go back and save. So it gives you a chance to look at what you're ordering before you actually send it through. So always scroll at the bottom, look at what you're about to order, and make sure that's what you want. All right, if you're if this is what you want, then you go to create. See where it says create? Click on create. When you create, then uh, all right, then you're gonna get something up here that says uh, success changes saved, and then you're gonna see an order number, and then you're done. Um, that's all you had to do. Alright, so if you need to place an additional order, you do the same thing. You go through the process. You can just go through to right here where it says create on the right. Just go to create. Um, well, there's an error there. Um, okay, uh, for the create is where you actually had placed an order and you save. So what I would do is just go back and start this over. Alright, so you go to start, go to orders, and then you um, scroll all the way to the bottom. Oops, make sure the date's there. The ship to is correct with Cynthia, um, and then you do additional orders. You keep doing the process until you're you're um, you're done with testing. But hopefully, you're only going to do this once or twice. All right, you should not be doing too many additional orders, and that's it. Okay, so that's going to end this.